In assembling the cast for the 1936 movie Bullets or Ballots, the casting process was meticulous and thorough. Each key actor was chosen through auditions that showcased their talent and suitability for the roles. Chemistry tests were conducted to ensure the dynamics between the actors would be convincing on screen. Pivotal moments in the casting process defined the final selection of actors who would bring the characters to life. The casting directors focused on finding individuals who not only fit the physical descriptions of the characters, but also possessed the emotional depth and acting chops required for their roles. During auditions, actors were given scenes to perform that highlighted their range and ability to embody the essence of the characters they were vying for. Chemistry tests were instrumental in determining how well potential co-stars connected and interacted, as this would be crucial for the audience's engagement with the film. Ultimately, the casting for Bullets or Ballots came together through a careful blend of talent, chemistry, and the vision of the filmmakers. The selected actors brought their unique interpretations to the characters, contributing to the overall success of the film. Dot. The directorial vision behind the 1936 movie Bullets or Ballots was to create a captivating story that blended crime drama with social commentary. The director drew inspiration from classic film noir styles, aiming to immerse viewers in a gritty and realistic world. They utilized stark lighting, shadow play, and dynamic camera angles to heighten tension and suspense throughout the film. In collaborating with the cast and crew, the director focused on bringing out authentic performances that portrayed the complexities of the characters. By working closely with the actors, they were able to infuse the film with emotional depth and nuance. The director also valued the input of the crew, encouraging a collaborative atmosphere on set to ensure that every aspect of the film contributed to the overall vision. Overall, the director's approach to bullets or ballots involved a meticulous attention to detail, a commitment to storytelling, and a willingness to push boundaries in order to deliver a compelling cinematic experience. In the 1936 movie Bullets or Ballots, there are many funny, shocking, and sad facts that will keep you engaged. One of the favorite roles in this film is that of Detective Johnny Blake. Do you have a cherished memory associated with this classic movie? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. During the production of the 1936 movie Bullets or Ballots, the set design was meticulously crafted to recreate the atmosphere of the era. Various locations were used to film different scenes, adding depth and realism to the movie. Logistical challenges such as coordinating large casts and crews were overcome through careful planning and coordination. Innovative techniques and technologies were employed to enhance the filming process, ensuring that the final product was both visually captivating and engaging for audiences. In 1936, the film Bullets or Ballots made its debut, captivating audiences with its thrilling storyline and talented cast. The movie presents a compelling narrative that delves into the inner workings of criminal organizations and the efforts of law enforcement to combat them. It showcases the tense dynamics between crime bosses and detectives, highlighting the fine line between justice and corruption. The standout performances by the lead actors bring depth and authenticity to the characters, drawing viewers into a world filled with danger and intrigue. The cinematography of the film masterfully captures the mood of each scene, enhancing the overall viewing experience. The fast-paced action sequences and suspenseful moments keep viewers on the edge of their seats eagerly anticipating the next twist in the plot. As the story unfolds, viewers are taken on a journey through a landscape of deceit, betrayal, and redemption. The themes of loyalty, honor, and sacrifice are expertly woven into the narrative, resonating with audiences on a deep emotional level. The film's climax delivers a satisfying resolution that ties up loose ends while leaving room for contemplation and reflection. Overall, Bullets or Ballots stands as a timeless classic that continues to captivate audiences with its powerful storytelling, memorable performances, and gripping action sequences. It is a must-watch for anyone who appreciates a well-crafted crime drama that explores the complexities of morality and justice. The creation of Bullets or Ballots score 
and soundtrack was a collaborative effort between talented composers and musicians. The music was carefully crafted to enhance the movie's narrative and emotional tone. Composers worked closely with the filmmakers to ensure that every note resonated with the on-screen action. Musicians brought the compositions to life, infusing each piece with emotion and energy. The soundtrack played a vital role in immersing viewers in the world of the film, heightening suspense, drama, and emotion. Through a blend of orchestral pieces and thematic motifs, the music complemented the story, adding depth and richness to the viewing experience. Composers and musicians poured their creativity and talent into bringing bullets or ballots to life through its evocative score and soundtrack. Louise Beavers was a talented actress who left her mark on the Hollywood scene. Frank Phelan's impressive career includes appearances in several Oscar-winning films and nominees, and Humphrey Bogart's salary in 1942 was a substantial 140,125. These three individuals each brought their unique contributions to the entertainment industry, making significant impacts both on and off the screen. Their talents and achievements continue to be remembered and celebrated by audiences worldwide. In 1936, Bullets or Ballots showcased some iconic scenes that captivated audiences. One notable moment is the intense confrontation between the protagonists, highlighting the stellar performances by the lead actors. The director's skillful guidance brought out the emotional depth of the scene, enhancing its impact on viewers. The cinematography beautifully captured the tension and drama, immersing the audience in the characters' struggles. Filmmakers and actors alike praised this scene for its raw authenticity and powerful storytelling solidifying its place as a memorable moment in cinematic history. In Bullets or Ballots from 1936, Louise Beavers, a member of Sigma Gamma Rho sorority, was among the four African-American sororities at that time. In the film Edward G. Robinson, a loyal Democrat, bid for Franklin D. Roosevelt's hat, alongside Melvin Douglas, at a special Hollywood auction. Robinson and Douglas were both identified as loyal Democrats, although Robinson faced being gray listed during the McCarthy Red Scare of the 1950s and turned to stage work. Additionally, in a scene featuring Bugs Fenner and Al Kruger, a reenactment of a real mob trial was seen in a newsreel, where the jury acquitted Kruger despite evidence, mirroring a trial involving mobster Dutch Schultz in 1934 to 1934 to 1935. This trial ended with acquittal despite clear evidence, leading to criticism by the judge. The film likely drew inspiration from this real-life event. In 1936, the movie Bullets or Ballots made a significant impact on both culture and society. The film resonated with audiences by showcasing themes of crime, corruption, and justice. It portrayed the struggle between law enforcement and organized crime drawing viewers into a world of intrigue and danger. The movie influenced pop culture by shaping the way crime dramas were portrayed on screen, setting a standard for future films in the genre. Additionally, bullets or ballots sparked discussions on social issues such as ethics, power dynamics, and the role of law in maintaining order. It prompted audiences to consider the consequences of corruption, and the importance of upholding justice in society. The film's exploration of these complex themes captivated viewers and prompted reflection on the state of society at the time. Bullets or Ballots served as a catalyst for conversations about morality and the impact of criminal activities on communities. By highlighting the challenges faced by those fighting against corruption, the movie shed light on the need for integrity and accountability in both individuals and institution. Overall, the cultural and social impact of bullets or ballots was profound, leaving a lasting impression on audiences and contributing to a broader dialogue on important societal issues. In the world of classic cinema, Humphrey Bogart stands out for his appearances in several iconic films, including The Maltese Falcon, Casablanca, and The Treasure of the Sierra Madre. His partnership with producer Mark Hellinger led to the creation of a new independent production company, Santana Pictures Corporation, which produced Knock on Any Door. Another notable figure in the industry, 
Frank Machu, has had a significant presence in Oscar Best Picture nominees. His roles in films such as The Front Page and Going My Way showcase his talent and contribution to the film industry. These individuals have left a lasting impact on the world of cinema with their memorable performances and contributions to the art of filmmaking. Bullets or Ballots, a 1936 movie, was well received by critics and audiences alike. Critics praised the film for its engaging storyline, strong performances, and thrilling action sequences. Audience reactions were similarly positive, with many viewers enjoying the movie's suspenseful plot and dynamic characters. The film garnered several accolades, including nominations for various awards. The recognition the movie received highlighted its significance in the film industry during that time. For the individuals involved in the production of Bullets or Ballots, such a claim and awards would have been a validation of their hard work and talent. These accolades can open doors for future opportunities in the industry and elevate their standing among their peers. Overall, the critical reception and awards for Bullets or Ballots or Ballots underscored the movie's impact and quality, bringing well-deserved recognition to the cast and crew who contributed to its success. In Forest Lawn Memorial Park, Glendale, California, Joan Blondell's ashes are interred. A 32 U.S. commemorative postage stamp in the Legends of Hollywood series features Humphrey Bogart. Dick Purcell is featured in a book titled Character Actors in Horror and Science Fiction Films, 1931-1960 by Lawrence Raw. During the filming of the 1936 movie Bullets or Ballots, there was a memorable incident where the lead actor forgot his lines during a crucial scene, leading to multiple retakes and some lighthearted teasing from the cast and crew. The set design team faced unexpected challenges when a sudden storm destroyed part of the set, causing delays in filming. Despite these setbacks, the camaraderie among the cast members shone through with impromptu singing sessions between takes to keep spirits high. The lead actress surprised everyone with her culinary skills, often bringing homemade treats for the crew, creating a warm and familial atmosphere on set. These behind-the-scenes anecdotes offer a glimpse into the resilience and creativity that defined the production of this classic film. Humphrey Bogart, renowned for his acting talent, clinched the top spot on the American Film Institute's list. His family history traces back to colonial America, with strong ties to English immigrant roots. Bogart's diverse ancestry included Dutch, French, German, Belgian, Walloon, and Welsh heritage. He welcomed his second child at 52, a daughter named Leslie Bogart, with his fourth wife Lauren Bucall, in 1952. The 1936 film Bullets or Ballots holds a significant place in film history for its portrayal of the struggle between law enforcement and organized crime. This classic had a notable impact on future filmmaking by influencing the development of the crime drama genre. Its gritty realism and tense storytelling served as a template for many crime films that follow. Bullets or Ballots inspired subsequent works by highlighting the themes of corruption, justice and morality in the face of criminal influence. Its legacy lives on in the way it shaped the depiction of crime and law enforcement in cinema. In this classic Humphrey Bogart's distinctive speech pattern, known as the Bogart Lisp, sparked various rumors, with some suggesting it resulted from a wartime injury or a bar altercation. However, recent belief attributes it to a natural occurrence. Interestingly, his son also shares this speech impediment. Moving on, Edward G. Robinson has starred in three films recognized by the Library of Congress for their cultural significance. Frank Machu holds the record for acting in the most movies alongside James Cagney, totaling 11 collaborations. These include a range of films from the early 1930s to the mid-1950s, solidifying their strong working relationship in the entertainment industry. In the gritty world of this classic, Edward G. Robinson's portrayal had a lasting impact inspiring the voice of Chief Clancy Wiggum on The Simpsons. Humphrey Bogart's unique speech defect was deftly hidden in German dubbings, skillfully managed by his main dubbing actor, 
Joachim Kemmer. Meanwhile, Joan Blondell's personal life mirrored the drama on screen, with a divorce filled with allegations of cruelty. Time magazine reported that Blondell parted ways with Dick Powell due to his dismissive attitude towards her objection. Such behind-the-scenes stories add layers of intrigue to the tapestry of this classic film. Louise Beavers, a key figure in the film, had a husband named Leroy Moore, who worked as a professional chef. Edward G. Robinson, another prominent actor in the movie, had an interesting story behind his stage name. Initially inspired by another actor, he later revealed that he chose Robinson as an attempt to maintain his birth initials, although he wished for a shorter name due to its time-consuming nature for autographs. Herbert Rawlinson, a seasoned actor specializing in authority roles, began his film career in 1913 and joined Universal in 1914, portraying senior military officers, lawmen, politicians, newspaper editors, and similar figures. These talented individuals contributed significantly to the success of this classic film. In the 1930s, Gilbert Emery was represented by the Hallam Cooley Agency and S. George Ullman. Addison Richards joined the Pasadena Community Playhouse as an actor and later became the artistic director in 1931. Humphrey Bogart, married to Mayo Mitha, discovered she had hired a detective to follow him suspecting him of infidelity. Bogart called the detective's agency and asked for his location. You got a man on my tail. Would you check with him and find out where I am? In the world of classic cinema, tales behind the scenes often rival those on the screen. One such legend involves a young Humphrey Bogart, whose iconic lisp may have come from a Navy scuffle. Capturing a prisoner trying to flee, Bogart endured a shackle-induced injury that left him forever changed. Meanwhile, Joan Blondell, celebrated for many roles, cherished her portrayal of Aunt Sissy in another classic film. And for Bogart, chess was more than a game. It was a domain of triumph. A master player, he bested challengers with ease, turning down pro offers to bask in his unique glory. Such whispers from the past shed light on the enigmatic world of Hollywood icons. In the world of filmmaking, interesting facts often hide behind the scenes of well-known classics. Actors like Edward G. Robinson, known for his versatile roles, were not limited to just one character. Robinson was originally set to play Dr. Zayas in a popular movie, but had to drop out due to heart issues. However, his involvement in the film industry didn't shield him from controversy. In 1949, Robinson found himself under investigation for alleged ties to communist activities, reflecting the complex nature of Hollywood during that era. Another actor, Henry O'Neill, built a notable partnership with Pat O'Brien, appearing in a string of films together from the early 1930s to the 1950s. Their collaborative efforts produced multiple successful movies that showcased their talent and chemistry on screen. Their work together spanned across various genres highlighting their versatility as actors and contributing to the rich tapestry of classic cinema. These stories from behind the camera shed light on the lives and careers of these talented individuals, showing the challenges and triumphs they encountered in the competitive world of show business. Through their work, they left a lasting impact on the film industry, shaping the narratives and characters that continue to captivate audiences to this day. When reflecting on the impact of the 1936 movie Bullets or Ballots, many viewers often recall the excitement and drama that this classic brought to the screen, whether it was the engaging storyline, the memorable characters, or the powerful message it conveyed, this film left a lasting impression on those who watched it. For some, Bullets or Ballots sparked a newfound appreciation for the art of cinema opening their eyes to the possibilities of storytelling through film. Others found deeper personal connections to the themes explored in the movie, resonating with its commentary on justice, loyalty, and the complexities of human nature. If you have your own experiences or memories related to this classic, we invite you to share them with us. Tell us how bullets or ballots impacted you personally or influenced your perspective on cinema. Your voice adds richness to the ongoing conversation about this timeless film. Let's celebrate the power of storytelling together and continue to explore the world of cinema through shared experiences and memories. Remember to like, share, 
and subscribe for more cinematic explorations. Your engagement keeps the magic of film alive.